Welcome back everyone to the fort. And in this video, I wanted to show you guys site number 335. It is considered a preferred campsite, which are the one, two, and 300 loops. This is the 300 and I wanted to give you a quick look at it since we don't get over here to the preferred too often. Only when they don't have full hookup available is our next step is preferred. I wanted to show you guys how close a 335 is to the little nature trail and the canal. So we are one, two, three, so four sites away from the little nature trail that we showed you in our last stay. And the one with the American flag is the one we were staying at last time. That's 329. If you want to see where this little trail leads, just watch our video on site 329. Because it's the same little path that goes up that way and goes to the settlement post. Today is checkout day. I thought we were checking out Sunday, but we had an extra day on our reservation. So today is Monday and you can see how empty it is. So here it is, site 335. And there's Scott because like I said, it is checkout day and we are cleaning up to go home. So it is definitely a long enough pad to get a small car, an RV, and a trailer backed up. These sites over here have the metal picnic tables. As you know, they all have charcoal grills. There aren't any RVs right behind you in this particular site, but That is the site next to you from your grill. And when you're sitting at your picnic table, you do have some privacy. We didn't have any issues as far as the privacy on this site. Because you have to think that the people's RV usually comes up almost to the back. So when they're sitting at their table, it doesn't really interfere with you at your site. And then you can see diagonal you can see an RV, but it is a pretty good distance away. So, not an issue with us either. So let's show you this side. And that is the site when you're looking at them. That would be the site to the right of you. Also pretty good distance. And generally you are sitting on the other side of your RV, so really good distance between that as well. 
And this is one of the reasons why we mentioned that you might want to have extra hose because Scott had to use an extra hose for the sewer for the dump tank. So there's the water. Here's our sewer hookup. Pretty good distance. And then the electric is right here close by. Not too far for electric, but it is quite the distance for the sewer hookup. And the hose. Although they do sell the extra hoses here, it is quite a bit pricier, so just be prepared. You never know what kind of hookups you're going to have at your site. <laughs> 